Today we are going to talk about the atomic clock, P and C, A code, GDOP, and datum shift. Atomic clock. The accuracy of the system requires an extremely precise measurement of time. Only atomic clocks can achieve the precision necessary. Each satellite carries four atomic clocks, one in active use, and three spares. The accuracy achieved by these clocks is generally better than one second per 100 million years. There are two types of GPS signals, P-code or precise code. This is only available to the military and some selected public officials. Very precise, not degraded. C-code or civilian code. It is less precise. The signal can be degraded by scrambling the signal, especially in times of conflict. This is what the Garmin receivers, and all public GPS receivers, work with. Geometric dilution of precision or GDOP. When the satellites are close together, the overlap between the estimated distances is larger than when the satellites are far away from each other. When the overlap area is bigger, the error will be more. However, when the satellites are well distributed, it will result with smaller overlap of the pseudo ranges. More accurate GPS measurements are possible when the available satellites are further apart. Datum shift. Although the WGS system has been established worldwide since more than 20 years, nautical charts are still based on the older local national geodetic systems. One impact on navigation of these different datums appears when a navigation system provides a fix based on a datum different from that used for the nautical chart. A typical example is a WGS-84 based fix is obtained from a GPS receiver and a chart based on e.g. European datum. The resulting plotted position may be different from the actual location on that chart. The difference is known as a datum shift. Currently issued charts have a note in the title block on the datum shift between the WGS-84 system and the datum used for the chart.